their star here starting a little late as we were having problems with the internet which means we're streaming on the old Wi-Fi today classic their star streaming 5G but Wi-Fi all the same you may have noticed I grew my hair out over the weekend you know, I got, I ordered this Rogaine stuff off the internet, and it's just grown right out. It's, it's a hassle, really. And strands keep going down on my face and denying the hell out of me. Anyway, hi, this is Jade Cocoon, story of the Tamamayu. Uh, 1998 Japanese RPG, I believe. 1999 in North America. Early 2000 in Europe. Um, let me know how the audio mix is before I jump into the whole story stuff. I know the pain of long hair now. That I do. Colgan, good to see you here. Should have got a bloody short hair wig is what I should have done, but such is life. There we go. Thank you, Egg Gang Bot, for filling in the details. Jade Cocoon released in December 98 in Japan, 99 and 2000 release dates for North America and Europe, respectively. Um, Interesting things about this game, character designer is a Studio Ghibli veteran. You'll see that in some of the opening animation. That'll be pretty nice. I'm just going to leave it hang on the title screen for a moment and then it will jump into the opening scene and that'll be all good. Also, putting headphones over hair. Ugh, pain, it's a pain. It's a pain, let me tell you. Um, yeah, I haven't played this game since 2000, probably, so when I was 15. Maybe watching me play this will help you learn how to create something other than a hideous abomination. Probably not. Probably not. This is definitely one of those games I'm playing for the story and not to showcase my technical aptitude. Okay, here is the no. intro cutscene. God of the source of all life. He released his servants, the divine spirits, unto the lands. He spoke, I am that which is giving you life. For a time, they No game is showing up on screen, just my overlay. Alright, let me... Oh, duh. There we go. Alright, yeah. I had it switched to my 16 by 9 overlay because I've been playing Yakuza 0 for the last month and not my 4x3 overlay which is not getting which has not got much love recently there we go admire the wonderful title screen of Jade Cocoon story of the Tamamayu uh, Tamamayu is Japanese for Jade Cocoon and in Japan, the game is known as Tamamayu Monogatari. So, story of the Jade Cocoon. So yeah, Jade Cocoon, story of the Jade Cocoon, basically. It's a monster catching slash fusing game. I guess we could say it was partially inspired by the monster hunting craze of Digimon and Pokemon in the late 90s. But I don't know how true that would be. Uh, games have long development times. Quite possible this game started development in 96, so... 
I guess that would still match up. Elrond, okay. God of the forest, source of all life. He released his servants, the divine spirits, unto the lands. He spoke, I am that which is giving you life. For a time, they brought life and happiness to the forest. Soon Great the forest heart music, true. Uh, tank controls. Sadly true. <laughs> Elrond warned. That is the beast of knowledge. It was the 90s. Will someday bring temptation upon you. Thou shalt you can see the Ghibli art style here in the intro the movie. Spirits so promised, and gave birth to the beast of their own image. Such was man's beginning. And furry porn. Time passed, and the forest was again visited by fate. The Hello, Malice. Hello, Delsaber. And so the promise to Elrond was broken. Basic Garden of Eden kind of mind. mythos, you know. And by the child of man and spirit, knowledge is bad. Was Loss of innocence. This new power threatened and so was divided into light and darkness. You know, power threatens L. Ron Hubbard. But yeah, we're gonna see some Ghibli ass animation here. Look at this kid. Oh, and also monsters, because it's a video game, and we have to kill something. And then that little fellow. Did I ever play the second game uh, for the PlayStation 2? No, I didn't. Actually, I don't think I ever found it. Let's see, your audio is probably fine. But again, let me know if I'm too loud compared to the audio or if the audio is overwhelming me. See the future through the words of God. Cool. I feel before me the one who shall lead our accursed nature to repose. That's me. He's that talking about me. It is just as the hunter who is praised in our legends. That hunter shall be known as Levant. I like Levant as a name. It's close to Lepont. The greatest leader of the Toran Republic. So let's stick with Levant. Levant. The curse shall not be lifted until we are led to eternal repose. May the protection of Eren be his. Eternal repose is a long time to repose. You know? The Festival of the Father. A sound of winged minions. And so begins the Always movie. appreciate when a game says winged instead of winged. That's how you know it's classy. Meanwhile, in space. Here's Nibelheim, Cloud and Tifa. The tune of a cocoon master is such an enchanting sound. Vice acting. You will be a cocoon master someday. Oh hell yeah, I will. After all, you are the son of a cocoon master. That's the way it is. Can't be helped. And as a Nagi woman, I will be your bride. Okay, cool. But That's how that goes. Them's the rules. Hey, you two! Getting a little hot up here, if you know what I mean means we're fucking. Louie, this is none of your business, kid. Get out of here. I'm not a kid. 
Besides, this watchtower's my responsibility. Okay, Lulu. I have a job, not like your stupid cocoon master. So there! Don't be messing around just because tomorrow's the festival, you idiots. This kid. Get out of here. You're all talk, and a bucktooth idiot, too. But that's just me. Sheesh, I wonder what his problem is. Oh, that's right. Some minstrels are coming to the village square tomorrow. I bet they'll have some great tales to tell. Let's invite Kelmar, too, okay? Yeah, uh, well, I love third wheels. See you at the village square tomorrow. Can't have yeah. a tricycle without a third wheel. This actually doesn't look as bad as I remembered it. Alright, this is the village of Cyrus. I guess going home will be the last thing we do, right? Oh goodness, tank controls. No, stop that. No, okay, turn forward. Let's go. Turn forward, turn forward, turn forward. Hey, Pito. Come back tomorrow. Everyone's gone home. Tonight's the night we're all praying for our ancestors. Your family is too, aren't they? I'm going to pray for all the silkworms who've helped us here. Turn forward. Turn forward. Michelle Ruff as Lady Nabu? Nahu? Oh, it's like playing Resident Evil. It's... It's going to be a lot of me bumping into stuff and hoping that the geometry pushes me where I want to go. No, we can't. There we go. What do you want? I'm going to the master's cottage tomorrow, so I'm getting up early. I don't have time to mess around at the festival like you guys. I know, we're just... After all, I'm the We're just leeching off society, Louie. I'm not just here to give warning. I gotta be the first to fight if the demons attack. But I bet you can't even understand. I don't. I'm so stupid, Louis. I can't understand why anyone would consider you valuable. Oh, goodness, these controls are going to kill me. It's been a while. The 90s, we were figuring out 3D space and how to move around it. Not a fair comparison, Resident Evil never controlled this well. That's true. This is three years after Resident Evil. What are you doing up so late? You know tonight is the night we mourn for the souls of those swallowed by the forest. Even a father like yours became a spirit after he died. Rude. You should pay your respects to him. I believe this was one of the first RPGs I played that had one town. At last, the festival starts tomorrow. We have to pray to the god of the forest, so that we will be safe again this year. Turn forward, turn forward. We'll get there. I also remember this game being fairly short, but I'm not sure how true that is. At least on the day of the festival, but my father won't have it. You'll have to carry on your father's legacy sooner or later, right? I'm so sorry for you, seeing as your father was an asshole. Turn forward. Tur no, no. Turn. Forward. 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 There we go. Your father was a great man. What a pity that we have lost him. We must pray to the forest gods so that nothing bad will happen this year. 
Parasite Eve 2 switch to tank controls? Yes it did, and it made that game awful. Well, not awful, but hard to get into from a gameplay perspective. The souls of our ancestors return from the forest on the eve of the festival. If you don't get home soon, you could be dragged into the forest too. Oh no. Incredibly short from what Culgan remembers. Yeah, uh, I believe it's short and then there's an endless mode for just leveling up and getting new monsters and so on. But... That's how I remember it. But this was at a time when I was playing a lot of video games. So I might have just put in 40 hours over 3 days. I don't know much, but the one thing I do know is, the best way to mourn for the dead is to have a massive kegger. Oh, pretty much actually. I know what when is like. Ca the festival of Elrum is a festival for our ancestors. We appease the souls of the dead and pray to the god of the forest. Run along home now. I hear the minstrels are coming again this year. I don't care for their songs, but I can't wait to hear the stories of their journeys. Yeah, most of the monsters are in endless mode as well. There's only like 65 or so monsters in the story. Alright, let's head home. Also, let me turn up the brightness on this on my end. Turn. Is this a save point? Um. There we go. It me. Levant. Got a knife. Often used for playing in the woods or at the river. The only two places you're allowed to use that knife. Okay. I can't save if I'm standing on the save point. I have to go beside it and... I hope you're getting this music in okay, because it's really nice. Who's this? Is this mom? Welcome home. Tonight is a very special night. I like we not. Welcome the spirits of our ancestors. But your father might still be alive out there somewhere, so he won't need our welcome. Good. Instead, I prayed to the god of the forest for his safety. I know how forgetful you are. Remember to write important things down before you forget. Okay. You are leaving early tomorrow. Better go to bed then. Okay, we've been everywhere. Good idea. Well then, sweet dreams, my son. Yeah, I remember playing a little of the endless mode and then realizing there was nothing but fighting and capturing in it, so. Whoa. Daddy Issues, the video game. There you are. What are you up to? Didn't you say we would go listen to the minstrels? Yeah, I would, but we're surrounded by weird dream fog, Mabu. Turn, turn. Okay, there is a run. Although much back a lot of good it'll do me with this control scheme. Straight yep. Yeah. Okay. 
uh, the run button will make me run without me inputting anything on the D-pad. Everything is Metal Gear Solid. Even more things are Metal Gear Solid 2. Oh god, why are you in my dream? This is a nightmare. Rude. Yeah, graphics hold up pretty well. They're clear, you know, I can see what's happening. Kid, are you from Cyrus? What are you doing out here? Hey! You are my dream man. Cyrus should not have a cocoon master. So you are the son of the Lion of Harrow. Hmm. Well now. This is the human body at peak performance. Let's see how you measure up to your lineage. Yeah. I don't want to hurt my dream man. Attack, defend, summon, capture, retreat. MGS never controlled this good. It got better. Um. Can't just summon a dragon. I feel like we're not going to win. Whoa, wait. Rude. Realizing how many JRPGs start with a dream fight. Without the power to summon a magic beast, you are no threat to me. Yeah, but you're a dream man. The son of a coward. <laughs> yeah, but you're not real, so I don't care. This doesn't count as a loss. Wake up. Wake up, Chrono. It's time for the fair. You cried out in your sleep last night. Are you all right? Oh, I just dreamed Aren't about my dream man, and he made me scream. Didn't you say that you would? They are all waiting for you. Everyone's waiting for me. Babu, that little chef who hates me. Oh. Come quick! It's it's terrible. Uh, what hello to you too, Kalmar. It's gotta be the demons! Oh no! Mabu! She's gone off to the watchtower all by herself! So she should be the first to see if them. really is demons, she could be in danger! Let's go now! Want to post a Gar command without actually posting it. Just reminding us of the Gar command is enough. Yes, there may be demons coming. Who knows? Oh, the Reapers are here. Yeah, what are you doing? Just having a party. Oh, okay, you're doing magic. Thought Grandma was just rocking out. Ah, oh, yes. Reapers. We have already discussed your claim, Levant. Now Levant is knocked out and has another dream sequence. 
It's just dream sequences all the way down. We never actually get to see any of his real life. The beasts of knowledge. Touched by the misery of the Great Father, they release a white beast unto the forest. Its howl is the requiem of souls. Tradition. Hordes of winged insects have broken through the winged. dry berries Good word. and attacked the village. What can this mean? At long last, has Elrum's day of judgment come to Cyrus? Yes. I do not believe that the divine barrier of Gehenna will hold much longer. Oh, that's my best old person we vice. Must act. Do you not think so, High Priestess? Do you make cocoon? I hear you. Destruction is often what comes of the beast of knowledge. This could be an act of man. Man. The minions of the forest could not have broken through the divine barrier on their own. Whatever the cause may be, once the insects flew off, many of our people fell into a sleep from which they cannot wake. Yes, I know. Most I was there so. too. I live here also. I deeply regret to say those winged insects are the only boo-boo, the locust of apocalypse. Certainly our boo-boo. The dust spread by the only boo-boo plunges all into sleep, returning them to the earth. I hear the ancient empire of Gainapale was swallowed Ooh, into that's the a forest good name. by an only boo-boo. I'll take that name for D&D or something. Gainapale. Never again shall they wake. Well, mm. a pity, is it? <laughs> How dare you! The only reason we allowed a wanderer like you to live here yes. is because we believed in the divine magic of the Nagi. Well, she did put up that shield. But you've let our people fall ill without even trying to help, and still you. I don't think that's true, so, Jibara. divine magic and spells were all just a hoax. Adult politics. What? Bad scene. Do you say there is some other way? Such as offering some kind of human sacrifice to pacify the forest? Better to have cut off the source of evil before it came to this. If all it would have taken was a sacrifice. All right, I nominate Jabara to be sacrificed. The forest lends no ear to the wishes of man. If you speak the truth, then the evil spirits must be imprisoned one and all. Both of you, quiet down. Right, Grata. Get things out of control there here. There's no way to awaken them. The souls of those fallen to sleep wander the dream world. Uh huh. To retrieve their souls and return them to their bodies, we must. Yes, that's it. The Calabas herb. Wait, I thought there was no way to wake them up. If only we had the legendary herb, might it not cure the sleep sickness? Now we have to get the legendary herb. Well, now, Garai, are you? Not well versed in the ways of the forest. I'm just saying, legendary herb Chieftain, usually makes you, you more likely to fall asleep. But into the forest. Oh, that's rude. What would that accomplish? I would just be swallowed up and never heard from again. Although the herb is said to cure the sleep sickness. Oh, I wonder who you could send. On this dangerous well, quest. Tell us if there is some other way. Or are you just going to sit around and let them all die? You always were a stranger among us. Any further sacrifice will be the end of the village. 
Tradition states that a cocoon master shall suppress the demons. Since the Lion of Peril is no more, we have little choice. We must send a new cocoon master into the forest. It's gonna be me. It's gonna be me. Karai, we must perform the sacred union. This is not a time to mo make moves on Garai, Grotta. We of the Nagi were born to live together with the cocoon masters. Mabu should not object. It is all for the sake of Cyrus. We are prepared. So, then it is decided. Yes. Summon our new cocoon master, the son of the line of peril, and Mabu, maiden of That's the me. tribe. Have them both come to the Hall of Judgment. A lot of very ominous names for buildings and locations in this game. Never a hall of, eh, it's okay. The Bond. In order to cure the sick, oh, we got new the clothes. calabas herb must be retrieved from the forest. You are the child of a long line of cocoon masters in Cyrus. On this day, the sacred union shall be performed. As the successor to the Gotta line go chill at the pond of murder. It's just a name. It's really a small lake. I believed in your father, Riquettes. But he was a pot. He was a courageous yet gentle man. Even though he was swallowed up by the forest when the tide of fortune turned against him. He was certainly not a coward, as the villagers might have called him. Stand tall and work hard. I wish you luck in your father's stead. I oh, believe yes. in you, in you just the same way I believed in your, your failure of a father. Good luck. The devoted husband is a Nagi woman's only salvation. Oh yeah, we're getting married, by the way. You will understand someday. May fortune be with you in battle. It's just the rules. If you want to be a cocoon master, you gotta get married. According to tradition, I hereby conduct the sacred union. Not married. Sacred unionized. O oh, Elrum, god of the forest. O oh, forest, mother to all. Also, um, we English vice acting. Not complete garbage. Forest. Once again, grant us here this day. This game also came out before a lot of Studio Ghibli works were being heart, uh, so that dubbed. We, as beasts, may live in harmony with the forest. Oh, so wise. So it's oh, actually so a lot of people's first exposure to Ghibli style art and animation. This is the earring of the hunter. Symbol of your coming of age. As long as you possess it, you may escape death, even when defeated in the forest. Okay. It is my farewell gift to he who journeys to the land of ordeal. That's a useful item that only makes sense from a gameplay okay. perspective. Listen well, you two. Some people fear cocoon masters and call them impure hunters. Many will be prejudiced towards you. Nevertheless, you must persevere in your lonely struggle. A terrible ordeal also awaits the women of the Nagi. The infections on their bodies are the side effects of the cocoon purification process. Ew. These are known as cursed brandings. Cursed 
better word yes, than cursed. Can even cause death. Please care for one another in sickness and in health. Levant, you have the health. Nabu Tomorrow has the sickness. Struggle shall begin. Sleep well this night, so that you may be ready to depart come morning. Come to my house. We must prepare what you need for your journey. Also, very front heavy as regards plot so far. I've barely moved. We had one scripted battle. Ah, I knew you'd be here. What's the matter? Oh, I bet you're nervous. happened all at once today. I'm worn out. Nice outfit, Mabu, by the way. always have to have it their way. That's why I don't like them. But it's strange, isn't it? Why is it that only Nagi women are able to purify? I don't know. Mother Garai says it's divine power. God works in mysterious but ways. it doesn't seem that the villagers think so. Who's up there? And who's playing that awful flute music in the middle of the night? Oh, please go away, Louie. After what already happened today? Do you want the monsters to attack again or something? Only if they attack you, buddy. Don't you have work to do tomorrow? Go to bed already! Throw you off this damn tower, kid. What do you want? Oh, you must be scared. Isn't it past your bedtime? Or are you too afraid to go to sleep? Yeah, get him, Mabu. I already told you, I'm not a kid. Now push him. Try not Tell to them it was the monsters. Out there, tough guy. But I guess there's nothing scarier than Mabu. Oh, that's very rude. Ah, you are such a brat. You're making me lose my temper, you little twit. Well, we have an early start tomorrow. Better get to bed. And don't oversleep, young cocoon master. And don't oversleep, uh, name we're not going to See you refer to as much as possible. I would stand up and push him off, but with these tank controls, it would take me 20 minutes to get to him. And he would have left by then. Like, hey, Louie, just wait here uh, half an hour while I. Oh. Woo! Breakdancing. Majima's breaker style. Are we going to have another dreamscape? Smart money says yes. So you so dress you like you've become a man. Still, you Still are not a dream son, man. Like father, like son. That Nagi maiden shall be left behind when you are killed in the forest. How pitiful. Okay, but Buck Bumble is here to challenge me. Biggity buck bumble. Ba la ba it's time to rumble with the biggity buck bumble. Bump to the base to the base to the base. Bump to the base to the base to the base. Bump to the base to the base to the base. And so on. Bump to the base to the base to the base. Bump to the base the base to the base. the base to the base to All right, just got in the big hit there. We don't have any items or anything, I guess, so we'll just hit it again and kill it. I don't know. Yeah, jump in the air, bump that fist. Impressive. 
You are more capable than I expected. Yes, I stabbed that level but one bumblebee to death. Do you think you were up to it? Um, I predict we're going to get killed again, but that's just me. Like, we haven't actually got any tougher since the last stream. Those eyes combined with that voice? Yeah, he is the dream man, I know. Perfect in every way. The eyes are the most important part of a person's physical appearance. <laughs> Beaten already, and you call yourself a cocoon master. Whatever, just because you're perfect. It's not that funny. Don't laugh at your own jokes. Bad fall. White is the beast of fate. Blue is the beast of righteousness. Uh-huh. The blue cocoon master. I'm pretty blue. All my dreams are about me getting my ass kicked. Wake up. <laughs> I'm getting up, Leg Nosh. Leg Mom. Mom Nosh. You cried Leg out of your sleep last night. Are you all right? Yeah, I do that a lot. From this day forward, you are the cocoon master of Cyrus. You must be strong. Now, you had better head over to Mother Garai's house. Mabu is probably waiting for you there, too. Cool, cool. Please just teleport me there so I don't have to move. Oh, you finally come by, have you? I have Hashtag I chronic to nightmare mood. Aww. Have a seat right here. I have a lot of problems, but chronic nightmares seems to not be one of them, which I'm very grateful for. Soon you will enter the forest as a cocoon master. Not soon enough. A lot of plot. Forest entrance. Here. Four gates through the divine barrier. To pass through them, you must have the right key. Wow, this is Resident One of them Evil. Is here in Cyrus. It is the key to the Beetle Gate. Louis the Watchtower God has. Oh it. no. Do Once I have to kill him? To get the key from Louis, you must go deep into the beetle forest. Another cocoon master lives there. We have to kill Louis and get the key. People call him the Blue Cocoon Master. His name is Chorus, and he is a very capable man. Finding the Calibus herb is important, but first you must learn to fend for Thanks, yourself. Garai. Grandma looking out for us, you know. No doubt there is much you can learn from him, for he too is a cocoon master. In the meantime, I have gathered what you will need for your journey. All right. If you need something else, you should go to the town shop. No, I'm not spending Wounds money. Can only be healed by mugwort herbs. Make sure you have enough. Oh, and do not forget The word to herb yourself. has a H in it. You should use when it. Your empty Garai. run out. You can get more from Mabu. Oh yes. I almost forgot something very important. Uh telling me what any of these this are? Is the flute of capture. The sound of this flute serves both to imprison and summon minions. Your father, Riquettes, entrusted it to If the other Cocoon Masters weren't dicks, the game would be over. Yeah. Was. Ah, but perhaps some other time Like, just take a message to Chorus or anyone else and ask them to find... 
eucalyptus herbs. I have already spoken with Louis. Now, go to the Watchtower Hut and get the key to the Beetle Gate. Big bad Beetle Gate. From the forest entrance, you will find the Divine Barrier Gate, and then on to the Beetle Forest. Godspeed to you. Alright, hi wifey. What's up? So now you're going into the forest. I don't know why, but I'm a little worried. Probably because of the monsters. But if worse comes to worse, you can always use the earring of the hunter to return home safely. Herbed. Herbed. All right. Thirty-seven minutes in, we might get into the game. Oh, tank controls are bad. Wait a sec. What? 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 Here. This is a ring given to me by the Nagi chieftain when I was born. It's very special to me. Oh, cool. This might be worth some money. I should have given it to you before, but. I was too embarrassed. It's in the shape of a bosh. When I wear this ring, somehow I feel at peace. Thanks for your bosh ring, Mabu. I hope it helps you too. Well, take care, okay? Tears of Reese. Um. Um, also, take my orthopedic oh, underwear. It's really nothing, but. I was too embarrassed I'll to give be it to you before. Oh, that's sweet. I just nod. I'm very stoic. Uh, yeah. You should be thinking about me. I'm pretty awesome. I'm very silent, Protag. Guy. Now, can I equip that? No. It's just a valuable. Okay. I say it's just a valuable, but that probably means it has a lot of importance. Yajako. Huh? What is it? If you're looking for Kelma, he's not here. Mabu is very nice. She's a nice crazy. character. Where could he be running off to now? I don't remember a huge amount about this Come game, but she's definitely one of the things I remember. You want. It's been so long since I made a weapon for a cocoon master. But even if you had one, would you know how to use it? I don't know, probably. Who's this? Really, he's so unfriendly, isn't he? You're right, Ada. This guy's a jerk. His hands are skilled, but his tongue is not. I like Ada. Our Ada. will never find a good bride with a father like you. Damn straight. They're both so stubborn. Aren't you even listening to me? I like that. As soon as she starts yelling at him, he's like, "Oh, time to hammer." Sorry, I can't hear you. I'm hammering. As you can see, he has a hard head. But he is the best blacksmith in all of Peril. I think Peril is the region Come again. country we're in. Not that that's super important. I don't have anything good for you yet. But you can buy what I've already made. Okay, he's willing to sell us stuff. Hello. Okay, we have 200 yarn. Eh. I don't think we need to get anything yet. Okay, I need to remember to use the dash button more. 
I'm spending a lot of time in the town because, as I said, it is the only settlement, so kind of talking with these people is kind of the point, seeing as we're here to save all their lives. Hey, Carlot. I dig Carlot's design. Let's see, Mugwort is cheap. Shop liquor. What is shop liquor? Okay, it's for minions, and Valerian powder is an antidote. Alright. Oh, that's right, there are minstrels here doing their minstreling. Wow, there's a there's a lot of places. Chief's home is also pretty impressive. Like by far the biggest location yet. Oh, is this where all the sick people are? All the sleepies? I guess so. Can we talk to them? Will they say sleeping things? Will they go Z Z Z Z Z? No. Lazy, sick, sleeping people. Don't even have the decency to have dialogue. Anything over here? Nope. Alright. Silk mill. As you can imagine, silk is pretty important in this game. It is all about cocoons and such. Everyone just chilling out, making silk. Mom's not going to work today. Rude, Sue. It's true, but you shouldn't say it. You don't even have a name, old woman. Rude. That's like double rude. Oh? This is a... They say Fio's son has assumed the title of Cocoon Master. So, he is to be the one who will search for the herb. I hope he's up to it. A little worried, huh? What do you expect? My own son has fallen ill, you know? Yeah, but... So it will be Mabu who performs purifications then? Yes, yes, that's the problem. And that strange sickness. I wonder if that's a curse too. No, we shouldn't talk like this. It'd be terrible if someone heard us. We could be struck down by magic. Now that would be unfortunate. I bet your husband wouldn't mind if that happened. Ha <laughs> We're all friends here. Yeah, Mom. Mom doesn't want to work. Get to work, Mom. Make some silk. Make me some silk weapons. I want a silk sword. Alright, I'm going to go to the cemetery and the village square. I think the homes will all be mostly empty. Is there anything here, or is it just... a bummer? Okay, someone's at the very back. What's up, buddy? Them some eyebrows. Become you. You look just like Riquette when he was a young lad. Do I want to hear your stories? Hear the legend of Alcana. Sure. Give me some give me some lore. This is a tale of the kingdom of Gehenna Pali. It stretched across these lands. 
Gehenna Pale is a good name. Son of King Karis set out with his vassals to hunt in the forest. But in the forest they were enveloped by a thick fog and the prince lost his way. Uh huh. Wandering aimlessly about, he happened upon a marsh from which grew an enormous tree. Yggdrasil? Yeah. Thereupon he heard the sound of sobbing, but he knew not from where. Oh, that's just Beethos. He does that. Sitting all alone, she was weeping by the marsh. I am Alcana. I just buried my mother here in the marsh of Uban, she said. That's rough, buddy. And then she looked up at the prince. He was overwhelmed by her beautiful eyes. Oh, I'm gonna hit on this grieving woman. That day. It was truly a fateful meeting. Thereafter, the prince made frequent trips into the forest. Undoubtedly, he was paying visits to the maiden. The maiden had a strange power. She could talk to the insects and trees. Anyone can talk to insects and trees. The weird power is when they talk back. had been stolen by a witch. One day, the maiden spun silk from fairy cocoons and wove it into a beautiful cloth for the king, but the brilliance of that cloth cast a shadow upon the kingdom. The king was so enthralled by the fairy silk that he sent his soldiers into the forest where they ravaged for fairy cocoons. The fairies still in their cocoons Industry. were boiled you know, alive. bad. The king killed them so he could have their silk. The prince That's pretty bad. The to stop his cruelty. But the king was no longer the man he had once been. Prince Menek was charged with treason and imprisoned in the king's deepest dungeon. He was never heard from again. When the maiden learned This is a horrible death, story, dude. She cursed her fate and No wonder you hang out in a graveyard. She then cast herself away into the marsh where her mother lay, and she started to drown. A voice from nowhere whispered to her, I am Elrum. I shall grant you your wish. Tell me what you want, said the voice. A new car. The maiden told Elrum all that weighed upon her heart. The maiden said, Greed bears destructive knowledge. Its wicked power shall be the end of the forest. Our hope is lost. The beasts of knowledge shall never live in peace with the forest. Oh, come on, it was one king. The one light of hope, who I so loved, has perished at the hands of the beasts. I now go to where my love, Menek, awaits. Thereupon, Elrum spoke again. He said, so that I wasn't technically a wish, but okay. By the greed and hatred of the beasts of knowledge, when light is swallowed up by darkness, I shall unleash ruin upon the land, returning all to the nothingness from whence it came. I have a firm grip upon the darkness in your heart. From that day forward, demons appeared in the forest, terrifying all they came upon. Thanks, Elrum. The kingdom of Gehenna Pale fell to ruin. By the swarms of Onibubu, locusts of Apocalypse. The demons that haunt the forest now are the beasts spawned by the greed in man's heart. Well, that is the end of the story. And that, as they say, is that. Come by any time. Good. Thanks, old man, for that very depressing story about how everyone in the world is awful and all our troubles are all our own fault. Very inspiring. Alright, minstrels, have you got a cheerier story for me? Look at these guys. 
We are the minstrels who journey from village to village. We came to sing happy songs, today being the festival. But such a terrible thing has happened. We shan't leave this village with things the way they are. We shall stay here until the trouble subsides. How can you say that? I'll not stay here and die with them. By the way you're dressed, you must be a cocoon master. What's this? Is not the line of Parel the cocoon master here? So the rumors are true. He sucked. Well then, a lot of people are counting on you, aren't they? But you are still so young, aren't you? Okay. The best festival ever. Alright, let's get that key or whatever from Louis. Let's eat him up. We won't beat him up, we'll just shove him a few times. I heard what Mother Garai said. Yeah, give me the damn key. But I don't like any of it. I mean, you of all people. Just because Raquette is your dad. You'll just go into the forest and get eaten by monsters. Yeah, maybe. Is your flute really that powerful? That's so lame. I'll go get the calabash myself. Just wait right here. Rip. No can do, little guy. No, no, let him, let him go out. I want to see this. I know how you feel, Louis, but you can't go. I know how you feel, Louis. I you also think Levant sucks. Besides, you know how scary the forest is, right? And how little we can do there. Oh. Um. Oh. <laughs> okay. Shouldn't you be talking to Louis rather than me? Oh, okay. Thanks, walk true. Fine. Kelmar is right. You can go do it. Here's the beetle key. The chief gave it to me to look after. With it lies the fate of the Kelmar rude to me. Very rude. Use it to enter the beetle gate. The cottage of Master Chorus is deep inside the forest. Uh-huh. He's a powerful cocoon master, and he might know something about that herb. Okay. Look. Try to understand how he feels. Yeah, he sucks, I get it. Ever since his parents were killed in the forest, all he's ever thought about is slaying those monsters. He may be cocky, but in his own way, he's just trying to be a man. Yep. He definitely, definitely coming off that way. Alright. And now we can leave. Time for some video games! That's a run! Um... Hey, loser! <laughs> What's your problem, Louie? Kelmar was worried, so he asked me to show you the way. Uh, I feel sorry for you, so I'll lead you there just this once. Don't forget how to get there, and try to keep up! Goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna show you this straight path. Okay, this is the divine barrier. Use the beetle key to open the beetle gate. Duh. The beetle gate is the one to the far right. From there on out, it's all up to you. All right, Louie. I hope a rock falls on you. Bye. Alright, we got a save point in here, which is good. Alright, just under an hour. Before we get some gameplay. Alright. Ah, thank you, Blue Mary. 
someone finally noticed my hair. It's a different color, and also it exists. Who are you? I've seen poachers who impersonate cocoon masters. Um. If you are a real cocoon master, show me by playing that flute. Slowly now. This was a short quest. Hey, course. Tell me about herbs. Play free bird. I, I know that tune. Are you the son of Riquettes, the cocoon master of Cyrus? Hell yeah. If the son of Riquettes has been sent into the forest, the village must be in danger. Yeah, if someone this crappy has been sent on a quest. Happened in Cyrus. I see. So the Onibubu have reached Cyrus as well. Yeah. And you came to search for the Calabas herb, huh? Uh huh. <laughs> but uh, your flute playing, you don't know anything yet, do you? Rude. But yes, I am level one. Your father would never forgive me if I just let you go into the forest to die. I am Chorus, the Blue Cocoon Master. On behalf of my comrade Riquettes, I shall initiate you to the arts of the Cocoon Master. This game has a lot of charm. Alright. The minions of oh, the you're talking now. melancholy and are thus very dangerous. It is our task to capture them. First, they must be weakened. Yes, you know how to capture a Pokemon, right? Only that you would attack with a weapon. Let's have you learn the basics by actually fighting a minion. Alright. Have you any mugwort herb? Yes. For after a fight, wounds and exhaustion must not be ignored. Use this now. Here we go. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Let's do the stuff we've already done. In Dream Battles. Our Patron. Okay. Now let's defend. Let's use an item, I guess. Very basic tutorial. Understand? Nope. What? What's a video game? Attacking is the most important technique in battle. Also, this guy is just so Restoring your strength as long as you still I'm just have saying. mugwort herbs. However, if you run out of mugwort and your health is running low, then it is better to retreat than defend. These are the basic rules of combat. Uh huh. But remember, the mission of the cocoon master is not to kill, but to soothe souls. Sure, sure, sure. No matter how furious or violent a minion may be, you must not kill. Killing will bring you nothing. Not even XP? Come on. Take this as a symbol of your hard work. Alright, free Mugwort. Simply trap oh, I skipped one accidentally. Whoops. Soothe its spirit. It requires purification. If you are a cocoon master, you must have taken a Nagi woman as your bride in the sacred union. Yep. Have your wife purify Mabu. a firefly cocoon. It will then become a white cocoon. 
Sorry, we're here for Jade Cocoon. You can summon the minion into battle. Okay, capture. The sound of your flute shall soothe the minion's souls. Trapping them in empty cocoons is known as capturing. Yeah. Let's have you learn the basics by fighting a minion. Here we go. Let's get our first Pokemon. Take that. Pokeball, go. Wow. Well, actually, get in there, buddy. Success with capturing depends on your skill with the flute. And the only way to improve is to imprison as many minions as you can. All right, gotta catch them all. You won this time because I used a weak minion. In reality, you won't have it so easy. Train hard and work on your flute play. In time, I think flute playing is just called for level. Level up. You can only carry so many empty cocoons with you. Each time a capture fails, you lose one. What? It would be wise to return to the village if you run out. The minion you just captured is my gift to you. However, it is useless until it is purified. Yeah. And then we already did this one. Simply trapping. Okay, summoning. We are called Cocoon Masters because we have the power to summon magical minions. In order to beckon these minions, we must translocate our earthly vessels. In other Wait, words, what? the minions fight in our stead. Yes, okay. Mesmerized by the sound of the flute. After all, we are but beasts of knowledge, no match for the minions deep in the forest. That means we must fight minion with minion. However, you may only take three magic pieces with you three? at a time. That's nothing. Each minion possesses one of four distinct elemental properties. Keep the following relationships in mind. Earth repels water. Water extinguishes fire. Fire eliminates air. And wind whittles away earth. Wow. Know your opponent and develop a strategy first. And then merging. Magic beasts gain strength through victory in battle. And by merging different beasts together, they will become even stronger. Whoa. Try it once you have obtained a few. Your wife shall merge them for you. You seem to know an awful lot about what my wife is While doing, Chorus. Pass on characteristics of both beasts. Elemental properties and special abilities can either be strengthened or weakened. For this is the one thing I cannot teach you. You must master this process yourself. Cool. All right. Bye, Chorus. Very well. Now, you must try to apply what you have learned. My cottage is deep inside this forest. Yeah, no. If you arrive there safely, you shall receive my approval. No, just help me now. <laughs> oh, son of the Lion of Peril, you shall become a cocoon master. Like, this would be fine ordinarily, but everyone's dying. Listen, chorus, buddy, friend, pal. 
seem hesitant. Well, I understand. Yeah. But you must complete the test on your own. No. Very well. I guess we should head back to the village straight away, though. Right? And purify the cocoon. Yep, no snack for the road. I mean, I'm grateful for his tutorial and basically giving me a minion, but... We're kind of looking for herbs to so people don't die. So I don't think we have time for this little tutorial quest. Don't overdo it until you get better at hunting, all right? I'd watch out. Her stories can be long and boring. Whoa, but don't rude. Tell her I said that. Perform Nagi magic. That's right. Purify these Our some bitches. Love, and for the tormented, we pray. Oh, I remember this. Grant us the beast of knowledge, the power to touch the spirit. It's weird which parts of these games I remember. Like, I remember Mabu doing that. Merge, spin the cocoon into silk, which is kind of our... get rid of our doubles. This is our Arpatron. This is what he looks like. View. Oh yeah, there's a family tree as well of the fusions, which is pretty nice. He has a horn water attack. Uh, let's rename it. Someone, give me a name. For this lizard. First come, first serve on naming creatures. I'm just gonna sit here on this menu until I get a name. That's just how we're doing it. Lizard man. Gosh darn. Squish. I'm gonna keep Squish in mind. Any names that I do not pick will be used later. Don't you worry. I do like. <clears throat> sorry. I do like that there is a family tree of your fusions, mergings. That goes back like three generations. I think that's a cool idea. That could be in a Pokemon game someday. Okay. It's a bit easier now. Cyrus, the barrier gate in the Beetle Forest. I want to go to the gate just because I know there's a save point there. And I think we should save again. Seeing as we're so close. After 1 hour and 11 minutes, we're so close to beginning this game. And they say to games today take a long time to get you in. All right. Did 
That's the menu. There's 171 minions in total. I believe there is 67 in the story mode. Let's see, there's no swinging a weapon. So there's, it's not like, oh, hit them to begin the fight. This is a low level monster. I think we should just hit it a lot. What are you doing? Don't do that. But yeah, I think at this stage, we're just going to hit enemies physically and then capture them. I don't know if there is variance in individual monsters. Like, could I get two Pata... Pata Mels and have them be different stats? Let me stab you until you join me. All monster capture games kind of focus on that idea, right? Eating respect into them. Kind of gross. But at least I'm soothing them with a magic flute. Which kind of just makes more sense than Pokemon. Agnize Seal. One. All right, we leveled up. I don't think there's a mini-map or anything like that. I think all the dungeons are pretty straightforward. There might be some branches, but... Either way, we should capture almost everything. Anything we don't keep, we can just turn into silk. And that silk is worth yarn currency. Alright, and then we'll capture. Yeah, color variations, maybe. But again, yeah, that might be for mixing. I think family tree lineage can affect that. This game has a lot of little details like that. No? No? Is it because I already have one? Can I only have one of a type? That would be pretty messed up. And I don't really have a way to check that right now. Hey, you know, sometimes Pidgey gets out of the Pokeball. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, it was just bad luck. Yeah, you can have dupes. I was just wondering if there was some strange thing like, oh, you could have dupes if one of them is... Oh, I skipped through whatever that said, but we picked up an item. Valuables. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's teaching us basic mechanics again. Wind beats fire, fire, water beats fire, fire beats wind. Yeah, I get it. I've played video games. Ooh. 
Ooh, another save point. Thank goodness. Save early, save often. That's my motto. I guess there'd be no way to tell if... the two minions I got are the same in stats or not, unless I purify them both. But I don't want to purify them both, I want to purify one and sell the other. Alright, fork in the road. Let's go left. Whoa, what the hell are you? Big jaw, little demon. Sky you. I will call you Sammy because you love Ska. Call you little git who hits me. Lizard man, I choose you. Okay, then we switch out when it's done enough. Damage? Okay. It's air and we're water. So we wouldn't have a... Uh... Oh, it's earth. And we're water. Eh, you're not much stronger. Oh, big hits. Alright, let's switch out to Levant. And throw that Pokeball. I'm always going to make Pokemon references because I don't remember what you do in Digimon games to get more Digimon. Go, Digiball! An old cloth sack is stuck between leaves of ivy covering a boulder. Shop liquor picked up. Okay. I wonder what the respawn race is like here. Oh, this is blocked. Oh wait, it's not blocked. Ooh, this looks spooky. Let's go. We're gonna die in here. Actually, hmm. Well, let me see what's down here, I guess. I examine this pedestal. Yeah. We have three demons, minions. So let's head back and get those purified so they can join the party and turn one of them into silk fodder. I also would like to know what this is, but we can't do anything with it yet. Can I just use the hunter earring? Oh, that's cool. I don't have to return to the exit. I do end up back at the gate, but that's not too bad. That could be a lot worse. Alright, let's go to Garai. Let's see Mabu. Let's see Wifey. Hello, dear. 
try I know, her stories suck. Our enemy we love, and for the tormented we pray. Grant us, the beast of knowledge, the power to touch the spirit. Okay. I hope you didn't purify all of them. Okay. Oh, we can compare, and they do have different stats. This one is more attack focused, this one is more defense focused. Alright. That's a fancy way of saying we're killing you to make silk. Silk bread. The tastiest of all bread. Alright. And then... You and you. Why not? Go do some renaming. Alright. I'm renaming this one Squish. And I'm renaming this one Sammy. Because it loves Scar. Okay. Oh, can I? Whoop, oh, nope. Selected the wrong thing. But we'll. We'll look at the merging options later. I should probably just level up these ones first. Uh, can we rest at home? Get our HPs? Hey mom, still haven't gone to work? Are you doing alright? Being a cocoon master is tough. It but is. You keep at it. I can teach you many things in place of your father. Um, I don't think I need to know any of this, but okay. Tell me about weapons. You can buy weapons and armor at the blacksmith. I didn't think this would be viced. You know Kelmar's house, right? His father is a blacksmith. He may be a bit gruff, but he is a very skilled blacksmith. I know, Mom. Alright. Take care. I will always be praying for you. Bombs. So embarrassing. I'm a cocoon master now. Jeez. Can I... Can I not... No, we're not allowed to do that? Okay. Fine. Surely there's got to be somewhere to heal, right? Or am I healed because I left the forest? Is it an auto-heal situation? I guess it is, yeah. Sure. Zoom. Forest gates. And to the Beetle Forest. Do minions gain experience, actually? That's something I should check. Yes, they do. I guess if I let them defeat enemies. But it seems like it's almost always better just to have them defeat enemies. 
or to have enemies captured. Okay. Onward! Minions don't respawn. Or if they do, it takes a while. That's interesting. Oh? Okay, that's the same one. And that's locked. Okay, there's a whole bunch of you. A whole bunch of y'all. Atosh. Okay, you're fire. Which means you are weak to you, lizard man. I've noticed some glitching with the health bars and so on. They extend further than they should. But there's not much I can do about that without stopping the stream. And I'm not stopping the stream. Okay, we can switch between minions, or I can just call Levant back in. Seems like the right. Do another capture. Flute ball, go. Can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Welcome to Can't Stop. That's what I get for not testing a game thoroughly before I stream it. I basically went, oh, this boots. Come back here. Little hoppy people. Should I capture you for money or should I let someone kill you? I don't know. Chat, you tell me. Um, I don't know. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Like, if we get a level straight away off this, I'm willing to do a little bit of fighting. There we go. Numbers went up. As long as the numbers go up, then I'm happy. Water beats fire, fire beats air. Is the A air? Wind? Because I would associate yellow with earth and green with wind. But that's, I think, too much Suikoden. Alright, Squish. I think Lizard Man would knock this guy out in one hit now. I do want to kind of spread love a bit. It's weird that the bar extends past its normal boundaries, but it does manage to keep the proportion the same. There we go. Squish, kind of a tough customer. But a little squishy. Nice. Everything levels up when you're squish. Okay, we still don't have a key for this. Sure. Maybe 
Maybe the bars were based on screen wish percentage or something. Maybe. Oh, I remember this jerk. Because we have one of these jerks. Let's go, Sami. Most likely, if I just change the graphics driver that I'm using to run this emulator, it will probably run better. Okay, yeah, A is wind slash air. Not enough mana. Oh. Okay, that time the bar has deceived me. I thought we had more mana than we do. Whatever, we got the win. That's all that matters. We got some of our health back. Yeah, the bars are kind of being deceptive on me. I keep thinking I have a little more health than I actually do. Punch club. Spin that wheel. Okay, and that's where everything intersects. Sure. Oh. Are you a different color, Beetle? Scow Wasp. Yeah, you're different than Squish. You're a different color. Okay. Wasn't too far into the game before we got our palette swap. Yeah, next time I stream this, I'll definitely try and fix the bar situation. Alright, I think we can swap in Levant. Go for the capture. Basically capture one of everything, turn everything else into experience or money. There are other things I'm not sure about. I mean, do minions gain skills when they level up? Because if they do, then there's certainly a certain level I'd like to get every minion to before I fuse them. If not, is it just about leveling up whichever ones are useful at the moment? Alright, what does this say? Oh, it said something useful. I just tapped right through it again. Higher attack and mana values result in more effective normal, special, and magic attacks. The higher your speed, the more turns you receive to attack your enemy. Yeah, we've had situations where we've attacked twice in a row. Okay, another split. Another Skull Wasp.
I assume it's going to take uh, two wins to level up a uh, minion now. Hey, Malice, welcome back. What did you miss? Uh, we found some minions. Traversing this forest. Uh, the health meters are kind of screwed up. Due to the emulation process, but... been leveling up our dudes as well. Already encountered our first pallet swap. Alright. Okay, that's almost a level up, maybe. Or is it half a level up? I can't tell. I can't trust the bars. Uh, come back. Are you also a pallet swap? Oh, come. Yes, you are. You are a pallet swap. Rude. Water beats fire, so... I don't know. This guy, Sammy. Not too shabby. not allowed. Healing very inconvenient. I won't allow it, I say. Don't do it again. Okay, I think it's out of mana. Oh, I did not want you to kill it. Why did you crit? Okay, and you tend to restore a little bit of your stats after combat. tablet has fallen under the arm of a statue with a strange expression on its face. Okay, that's the third tutorial. Hey, 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 hey. Come back here. These enemies always run away. You would kick Lizard Man's ass, so let's not do that. Oh wait, no you wouldn't. You would kick Squish's ass. You are the same as Lizard Man. All right, good stuff. For some reason, my ethernet just didn't want to connect today, so I'm having to go on the Wi-Fi. It's 5G Wi-Fi, so it's okay. But even so, Miss, the hell bar bug is a common emulator issue, but no fixes. Okay. It's not game breaking or anything, it's just... Means I have little context for some things. Like you're not given experience numbers. So 
so when that happens, I don't know how far I am from a level. As far as health and mana goes, I just have to be mindful to read the numbers and not just kind of judge the scale of the bar. If I had a PS3, and I guess the disc of this game, which I don't have, uh, I guess I could just emulate straight from the console, or play straight from the console. But no. Alright, got that sucker. There's a third one around here. Back here. I think Lizard Man is the only one of our minions who has not defeated an enemy at level 2, so let's take care of that right now. Although, maybe because. Maybe because we're already at level 2, we should just turn the remaining ones into silk. Whatever. I'll do it after this, I guess. Maybe keeping parity with the local enemies would be good enough, or one level higher, I guess. Seeing as defeating an enemy at the same level is a level up. Mirror of Deva. No idea what that does. Okay. Let's use our hunter earring and return. We got some stuff to purify. Also wouldn't hurt to heal up. The, there are I think four forests, maybe a fifth one for like the end game. And they're pretty big, because otherwise the game would have absolutely no longevity. Don't overdo it until you get try talking. Yep, yep, her stories suck. Our enemy we love, and for the tormented we pray. Grant us the beast of knowledge, the power to touch the spirit. Touch that spirit. You want to touch the spirit? You want to touch the spirit? Alright. Let's see. Alright, we also need a bunch of names. Atash, Skawasp, Mokambu. I need three names. Yan. We can do that. Yes, this one. Yawn. Big E. That's this guy. This guy is a big E if I ever saw one.
then we just need one more for the Skull Wasp. I'm not picky, I'll take this name from anyone. While I wait for a third name, I'm going to merge. I'm going to merge Lizard Man and Squish. And it's going to look like this. It's going to look like a weird mix of the two, which I'm totally into. Let's merge. Oh, magical beasts who serve us, merge thy flesh to gain yet greater power. Yeah. Reveal to us thy heroic form. Fusion Ha. Xavier for the third. It done. New name. Already got a new name, Ballas. Quick in there with Squishy Man. Which is just enough letters. And then we also have Xavier here. Okay, and Squishy Man is level 3. So let's just equip these guys. They're kind of what we're going to try and level up out there and then merge together. Come on, go to the exit, Levant. The tank controls are a little easier once you... Whoops. Once you don't actually use the button to go forward, or the D-pad to go forward, but instead use the run button as a momentum button then just redirect yourself while moving that way. It's still not perfect by any means, but it is a lot easier than... Oh, some respawns. That's good. Let's see. Yes. Yon has the elemental advantage here. Gotta get in those Rhapsodia references. Okay, that takes 10 mana. It's weird the bugs that come up with emulation sometimes. And it's a good reminder that emulation is rarely perfect, even on older consoles. Of course, the other thing is, um, it's not worth the time to fix a bug in the Jade Cocoon emulation for most people. Sad to say. Like, maybe that would be a really easy fix, but... The world isn't crying out for it the same way they would if there was a bug in a Final Fantasy game being emulated. I wonder what this is. Maybe it's a thing later. I almost thought for a second, like, maybe it's fast travel within the game. 
but then no, how would it be? That's basically the entrance to the dungeon. We have a lot further to go before we even have to worry about backtracking. Oh, you're new. Hey, buddy. Atalchu. Alright, time for Biggie. Not as much damage as I thought it would do. Ah, that's your healing. Okay. Visual by Advance is supposed to be the best GBA emulator, and it generally is. But Golden Sun hates it. Yeah. Emulators aren't perfect. That's for darn sure. Like, N64 emulators hate Mystical Ninja, starring Goemon. Which made my stream of that from way back, sometimes, a little dangerous. I do like the character designs in this game. Levant, Mabu, all the NPCs all look good and interesting. They all have character. The minions themselves are a little generic, but it's not a huge loss. Alright, finally, and our rank has gone up from apprentice to novice. There are a lot of GBA emulators. I wonder if it's because, in general, it's easy to emulate that system. And it's just a fine-tuning of it that makes it difficult. Or maybe it's difficult and it just took a lot of tries to get right. I normally use Visual by Advance because, for the most part, it works perfectly on a lot of games. Now, to be fair, when I'm talking about buggy emulators, um, NES, SNES, Mega Drive seem to be pretty solid. Very few bugs. Still some, but not nearly as many as Big E. Okay, you can be revived at the very least. A lot of pet projects on GitHub. Yeah, maybe it is a practice thing. That sounds like it makes sense at least. But I'm not into the emulator scene enough that I could say for sure. Ow. Alright, let's switch out with Xavier. Then after that, I think we need to go back and heal up Big E. I'm not gonna let leave them hanging. Alright. Also, we have two new level two minions that I can fuse together. Also, the other thing I think... Well, no, because you mentioned that other emulators run Golden Sun fine, but... Golden Sun is pretty intense for a GBA game. I think there are a lot of 
sprite-based games that would run a lot smoother than Golden Sun. Big E, still dead. Hopefully... Mabu can do something about this. Or maybe we just have to give her healing items. Let's merge Xavier and Sami. What will this abomination look like? Okay. Basically, I get them a free level up by making them win one fight and then merge them for another free level up. And that should make us fairly competitive. No, you're not just going to be called Xavier. What? That's terrible. Xavier 2. Great name. I don't know. I'm going to call you Buck. Because you look like Buck Bumble. My name is Buck, and I love to party. Atal Chu can replace Buck, that's for sure. Oh, wait, no, I need to rename. Pat I'll chew. All right, what do you look like? You look like a red demon guy. Someone give me a name for a red demon guy. I'm counting on you, chat. You're my everything. a name for this guy. I'm gonna call him Booger Red. That's a good name. That's a name anyone would be proud to carry. Look at that. Look at that family tree. Lizard man and squish make squishy man. Xavier and Sammy make Buck. Pinky? I'm gonna save that for later. Anytime you have an interesting name for a minion, just pop it up here. I'll remember it for next time I need one. Alright, dude. Yes, Big E healed when I talked to Mabu. That's very nice of her. Yeah, this is kind of what the dungeons are like. They're long and kind of an endurance run. There'll be a lot of backtracking to go heal. That sort of thing. Levant's run is the worst, by the way. It's pretty bad. Like, every part of his body is moving. Alright, Booger Red. Going deep with the wrestling references here with these names, by the way. Oh, do you have magic Booger Red? No. 
Ooh, that's a big hit. I like that. Although that was most of our mana. See, I look at that mana bar now and I'm like, I could do another attack, surely. But no. I don't remember if there's any sort of um, mid-dungeon warp point. That would be useful, but I think I'd be asking for a bit much for that to be a thing. Alright. See, let's go this way. We haven't gone this way in a while. Maybe it's respawned and we can beat up things. Hell yeah, it has. Turn. Turn. There we go. All right, Biggie. Fight your brethren. Oh, it's defending. It's a weenie. No, oh, I don't want to fight. I'm just a little cute bug creature. Whatever, this is how we get XP. Biggie needs to level up, baby. Don't heal. Gosh darn. Whatever, we'll wear it down. Even though it's just going to heal it at least one more time. Come on, buddy. Be sensible. Just, you know, keel over automatically and give me my hard-earned exps. Time to heal. That's fine. I do not have enough to heal myself. But this could get nasty, in fact. I guess the only thing that gives us a kind of edge is that it's going to defend a lot and I'm not. That heal is very useful. But I do not have the mana for it. And I blew it all at the start. Kind of a mistake, really. It feels like there's so much more to do to defeat this guy just based on uh, how the health gauge is screwed up right now. But I think we've got this. No. How? All right. Get in there, Jan. The 
the longest battle against a level 1 enemy in Jade Cocoon ever. But I really want Beaky to be the one who gets that final hit. Gotta give Biggie his exps. Are you serious? Are you serious, bro? It cannot have unlimited mana. It would be undefeatable. That's got to be the limit of its recovery. It's gotta be. I say more in hope than any concrete belief or concrete evidence. Okay, you're defending now. Yeah, you're not healing anymore. Get out of here. Big E with the win. Well deserved. Great back and forth combat. Okay. We're all level 2. Which means anything I find from here on out, I'm capturing and turning into silk. Like this guy. Risky, but let's send Big E back out there straight away. No time to wait. Get that water attack out there straight up. Miss that water attack straight up. Mm. Should probably swap them out. What do we think would hit harder? Probably Booger Red. It's the same enemy type, but we're a level higher. Oh, come on. Let's try it out one more time. Buddy, pal. There we go. Big hits. Good old Booger Red. Throwing those ham hocks. This is his yard. No, I didn't want to kill it. I wanted to capture it for Silk. Good remembering. <laughs> My memory is awesome. Well, you yeah, know. Okay, there's an enemy that way. There's an enemy this way. Or there isn't an enemy this way, rather. I assume this branching path will also just reconnect on the other side. Although you never know. I don't actually remember how these things go. Okay, this is a fire one of these, which means Big E might actually be useful now. Okay, yep. And then we'll switch in Levant. And I guess hope that we don't do six damage. 
We do six damage. Yatta. We get nothing for that. You don't get anything if you kill an enemy. That's not what Levant is here for. He's here to capture. Alright, some weird snake thing. Oh, two weird snake things. Scoot. Scoot is a good name. I approve of the name Scoot. Alright, I'm gonna capture one of these snake things, so someone needs to give me a name now. How come they can have two, but I can only have one? That's stinky. Alright, Booger Red. Get in there. Seven damage? Not bad. Okay. Then I think we can... Mm, let's switch in Levant. See how that goes. Also, I can see if I can capture one in a group, or if I have to have it as the last minion standing, as it were. Well, if its partner is going to save it, it's not doing a good job of it. Okay. Now, would I do seven damage when I hit this guy? Yes, great. Hmm. I gotta stop underestimating Levant's attack, I guess. More scoots. More scoots, more shoots. Strong boy. Definitely. I haven't even bought any equipment for Levant yet. And he's strong buying it up. Ooh, nice. I approve Booger Red. Get them both down to critical health, and Levant can just swoop in. That I would enjoy. I would hope to get through this dungeon at the very least before the end of the stream, but... I don't know. I don't know how much is left in this dungeon. Alright. That's enough out of you, Booger Red. Oh, you're gonna drop here. That's okay. I think after we capture these two, we should probably head back anyway.
Well, we should probably go a little further. See what lies ahead. See if those paths really do connect, or if one of them is a dead end. Oh, come on. It has one HP. Get in the damn Pokeball. Luckily, Levant is pretty sturdy. He does have a limited number of cocoons, however, so we do need to be a little mindful. Although they get replenished every time we talk to Mabu. Get in your cocoon. Listen to my peaceful flute. You too. You too listen to my peaceful flute. Didn't you hear how peaceful it was when that other scoot went inside? You should get inside too. It's gonna be sweet. I'm totally not going to kill you and turn you into silk. There is a 1 in 3 chance I will not kill you and turn you into silk. That's it, their star guarantee. Sorry, Booger Red. Oh, is this the... This is the key for the chest. Way back when. I don't know, we're pretty strong. Should I just be attacking with Levant right now? Probably not, probably not. Okay, that's more than half its health. So we have to be careful here. Damage seems static, in that I can't... Oh, he's poisoned. I don't like that at all. Let's swap in Levant. There's no variation in damage numbers, it seems like. No random variance at all. Which is good for being able to keep track of how many hits an enemy can take before you defeat them and all that. Which is kind of important in a game like this, where you want to get HP down as low as possible. Oh, there is variance. I saw that. Okay. If there was the variance, those two should have the same HP, and they don't. Maybe there's only variance in physical attacks and not with skills? That could be a thing. But now I'm just speculating, you know? Alright. Capture these scoots. I don't think this is gonna go well. It's not in critical health, but I don't think it's impossible. Much like throwing a Pokeball at a Pokemon with full HP, it could very well end up in there. I just don't think the numbers work in our favor, but if I attack it again with Levant, it's going to die. Okay. Another win for the home team. Oh wait, you're new. I don't think I want to fight you yet then. Then we'll go down this way. Okay, this is the other path, but what's in here? Oh! 
This beer gives off an eerie and moist blue glow. Aquazor. Well, let's equip that, shall we? Okay. Provides divine protection against water, so its tip never rusts. Magic attack and attack are up, speed drop. How is a glow moist? When you're older, when you're older, Malice, I'll tell you. It's best not to think about it for now. You have so much to experience before you need to worry about things like that. Oh, it's just this asshole. Well, I mean, if this is a water thing, maybe this will kick its ass. That pretty much kicked its ass. Alright, Biggie, get in there. When you're 45, at least, we'll talk about talking about it again when you're 45. Oh. Didn't mean for that to happen, but I guess I'm happy Big E got a big hit in there. It's a neat idea, but it is sometimes kind of frustrating that defeating enemies with Levant is useless. You get nothing from it. Like, um... Capturing is what he levels up. Is how he levels up, rather. Just killing the enemy gets him nothing. Minions killing the enemy? Good. You know, that's battle experience. But humans apparently don't work that way. Alright, we can switch back. I'm just making my way back to the area that had the treasure chest. And then we'll teleport back to Cyrus Village, heal up, return here, make our way forward again. That boy did not want to come with us. Well, we're going to try again. Dun, 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 dun. Love that ground texture. All eight pixels of it. But you know, uh, a lot of ground textures nowadays, not that much better. Developers figured out, players don't actually stare at the ground that much. Okay, we only have four empty cocoons left. I right, get that spear. Oh, but this guy's gonna heal. That's fine, that's fine. We hit so hard, it may not be an issue. There we go. Oh, 
Although I wonder if it defending will make it harder to capture. Maybe so. We're all learning here about the wonders of the Tamamayu. Get in there. Get in there, stay in there. Get that capture X. And turn around and forward. And treasure chest. Four mega mugworts, a shop liquor, and an iron headband. Okay. Okay, increases our defense, reduces our speed. Band with iron woven in, tough but heavy. Okay. And then we'll use our hunter's earring to get out of here. Make like a hunter's earring and leaf. Again, still have no idea how far into that dungeon we've gotten. It could be a long way. Because we're definitely seeing new enemy types still. Alright, Mabu. Perform your Nagai magic. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 All right. We have a lot of scoots. Ooh, this scoot is the best scoot. Scoot. What? Which one is the best scoot? The first scoot is the best scoot. So all the rest of you scoots, scoot it up. Could we merge two scoots together and make a level two scoot? Let's find out. O oh, warrior of justice, return to whence we came, to the place of Elru. Grant us our daily bread. Let's bread it up. Okay, sure. And we already have one of these, we already have one of these. Right? I don't really remember, because I don't remember the damn names of these things. But I'm pretty sure we do. Alright, and then we should merge some level 2s. Oh wait, no, first I want to merge these scoots. Yeah, now I'll marry you level 2 school. And its name shall be... Pinky, even though it isn't pink. Because that was the name Blue Mary suggested, and... For a completely different minion, and I'm sticking to it. All right, Pinky is a uh, Earth type. I guess we should merge our two fire types together. What will this look like? Oh yeah, that's like some heartless out of Kingdom Hearts. Who serve 
Someone give me a name for this pink, dunce capped, heartless. Reveal to us thy heroic form. It's done. Its name is not Booger Red. Please, Booger Red must was my father. <laughs> I'm going to call it. Jeez, when did my Twitch chat become every Twitch chat? For shame. All right, Pinky and Big E. All are opposites. like a snake dog. I'm into it. Oh, magical beast. I need a name for this yellow snake dog. These are so not names I would give them. I would give them classy French names. <laughs> I like Schwoobie. I'm going with Schwoobie. Karl Marx can turn up next time. And you know... Squishy, squishy man never got to run out. All right, we're here now with some level three bad boys. All right, Levant. I'm glad I didn't ask chat to name the main character. I would not like to run around this game for however many hours it lasts as OG Kush. Alright, let's go. I should probably be selling those. those silk things I keep getting. But I guess it doesn't matter when I sell them. Should have named him Sieg. There's always time for that, you know. There's always another minion. Big hits. Unlike the minions, Levant's stats are basically entirely determined by his equipment. So... I think he's going to get... A I think there'll be times when he's more fragile and then we get better equipment and he zooms back up to being pretty tough. All right, level five capture level. Not entirely sure what that means exactly. Oh, uh, it's easier to capture things. That's right. The blue cocoon master told me that. See, that's why there's a tutorial, so that I can learn. D 
this isn't me remembering the game. It's me having a knowledge of video games in general, but I assume when I get to the end of this forest, I'm going to probably have to fight that guy. He's probably going to be like, this is my final test. You must beat me up. And only then when I, will I help the innocent people in your village not die of sleeping sickness. Because that sounds like something this game would do. Really? Yeah, I guess so. I guess the HP shakes out that way. That was my bad. Sorry, little red dude. You did not need to die. This kind of does remind me of Flazeria Forest in Tear Cries. I guess because they both have static backgrounds. Wait, what? I've heard rumors of men who disguise themselves as cocoon masters to poach game here. Uh huh. You may be one of them. Hi, Louie. I mean, who are you, Miss Masked Boy? Find out whether or not you're the real thing. I guess we will. Hey, I like this music. All right, squishy man. Please don't be as squishy as your name implies. Okay, sure. Wow, you suck, masked by whose name I don't remember. Aw, oh, did you try and summon and fail? That's adorable. Get out of here. We got a great walnut. It was pretty rad. Alright, bye, mysterious youth. I like Levant's little shrug emoji. I guess that only triggers if you come up this way, because we went back down and we didn't encounter him at all. I guess that means it's entirely possible to just not fight him, which is pretty cool. Terror afraid. Okay. What, like terrified and afraid rolled into one? Oh, this guy's level three. This guy is super tough. tough fight. This could be a very tough fight. Ow. Yes, um, OG Kush. Ow. You remember merging this guy a lot. He does seem pretty good.
Let's just do what we can, I guess. Gotta wear it down as much as possible. Alright, squishy man. Don't think this will do too much, but we may as well try. Yep, that was pretty rot rotten. But you didn't take much damage either, so... Alright, switch in Levant. Let's go for the final summon. Or not summon, capture. And if the enemies up here are level 3, that means these level 3 merged minions we have can get up to 4 at the very least. Should be pretty rad if that's the case. Come on. Oh, yeah. Alright, what is this way? A save point. Another one of these. And a jewel necklace of lies. It's not a necklace of lies, right? This is a this is an error. It's a jewel necklace that lies partially buried in the ground. Beetle war. What is Okay, I can use that to fast travel between So that's pretty useful. And is there anything this way? No, this is just the way we came from the other path. Okay. I feel like we must be close. Because there's an enemy here. That's why I determine if we're close or not. Okay, Mark Drag. Kind of another version of that creature we just got. Not enough mana. Let's see how this works out. Let's just trade some blows for a while, back and forth. I think we're losing in the exchange, but I can just switch out Squishy Man eventually. See how Levant does. I presume Levant will hit hard, but maybe also take damage hard. Mm, not as hard as I had hoped. Also, we're quite slow now from all this equipment we're carrying. Ooh, big hits. Well, it doesn't matter. It's time to capture. 
I need names for this green spike boy and the yellow spike boy we're capturing now. Well, we already have one. We have Karl Marx. Waiting in the wings, as always. Charlizard. Mm. Okay, yep. That is Dude Bro's house. Oh wait, I don't need to go back here. I can just use the return home earring. I only need to use the teleport pint when I'm coming back. Derp derp. Oh, and I also have to name Sieg to use sometime. That's right. Although I realize Malice wanted me to use that for the hero. But Levant is a silent protagonist. Which is very Nazi style. Don't over try. Alright. Our enemy we love, and for the tormented we pray. Grant us the beast of knowledge, the power to touch the spirit. Love that loud boy, fast boy, that's Sieg. Hey everybody, let's get going. We have to go to Citro Plains today. We gotta go talk to Jail. Jail's gonna take us there. Oh, wow, well, where's Dirk? Marika, come on, let's go. Oh, order of the one true way. Destiny, Destiny's a pile of bollocks. I hate Destiny. We all decide what we want to do in lives. You believe in destiny? I hate you. Dear Chris is a good game. Oh, we're turning you into garbage. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Help me out here. Help me out here, game. Let me name you what I want to name you. Karl Marx. And... <laughs> Was it Charlizard? Whatever. Whatever. I'm at the mercy of my chat regulars. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Nope, no, no, no. There is no go back one character option. It's all or nothing in Jade Cocoon. If I make one typo, we're doing this all over again, buddy. <laughs> That's right. Charles is within. What's wrong with that? Alright, time to turn this loser minion into daily bread. By bread, we mean money. Alright.
Let's go talk to Cocoon Master Dude, whose name I never remember. I'm sure he won't challenge us to a fight at all. That would be silly. Seeing as we're both on the same side and all. Who would want to do that? Going to break, bake some bread today, Del Saber, but you're out of what? Wasps? You should always have a jar of wasps handy for things like this. A jar of ska wasps. Kind of your own foolishness if you don't. Pokeball, I choose you. Please get in there, even though your HP isn't in red. I'm like, capture level 5. You have to do what I say. Oh yeah. You actually have to do what I say. Although, that was a little more damage than I was hoping to take at this point. It is actually true that Cricket Flower is supposed to be quite good. So, that makes my... ...bug joke. Allows the user to teleport between two points. I'm here! I'm here! I'm between two points! Okay, I just have to press X. I thought I would have to select it from the item menu. But no, the game is a little kinder than that. It has some idea of how to make a convenient fast travel system. Okay. Please don't be anything here for me to fight. I just want to go see this guy. My surrogate dad. So, <laughs> the son of the lion <laughs> Pearl is even more talented than I had thought. I'm pretty talented, dude. You're pretty talented too, because you're blonde in your portrait, but your hair is orange. I looked up the calabash herb in my books, but in the end, I found nothing. Great, thanks, bye. However, there is a folktale that describes a dust that wakes the sleeping. Oh? It is the story of a wondrous powder kept by a half-bird, half-man named Kikina, who lives in the dragonfly forest. Perhaps that powder is brewed from the Calabash. He has Rufus hair. He does. This is only a guess. Hair color, Rufus. But I think it is worth looking into. Here is the key to the Dragonfly Gate. You should have it. All right, onward to the next dungeon. You better head straight back to the village and consult with Garai. No boss. She may know something about the tale of Kikinak. You must do your best before it is too late. I honestly thought he would fight us. The divine spirit defies the great father and throws off his shackles. He is now bound to the chains of freedom. Whoa. The bird man. What a freedom is slavery. Think about it. So, 
even Chorus does not know. But I do remember hearing the tale of the Birdman. Then why didn't you say anything about her? There is a similar story of divine spirits in Nagi legend as well. Would I like to hear it? Bye. <laughs> Let's hear it. Elrum released his minions, the divine spirits, unto peril. He spake. Thou shalt not become what presides over life. Aww. And so they spent days bringing life to the forest and giving names unto themselves. Elrum seems like a bossy god. One day, the spirit made up its mind to create a beast in its own image. Elrum warned that creature is the beast of knowledge, and it will someday bring temptation upon you. Thou shalt not associate with it. Rude. Elrim doesn't decide who we're friends with. So promised and gave birth to the beast of its own image. Such was the birth of man, the beast of knowledge, as told by the prophet Gi. As the sands of time flowed on, the beasts bore children, and so continued to multiply. Humans are the Soon worst. A fateful day came apparently. To the one of the divine spirits fell in love with the daughter of man, and so the promise was at last broken. Oh no! Elrum punished the divine spirit for its sin by transforming it into a beast. Descendants of that divine spirit dwell still in the forest. The difference between Garai's Arsh and the face and her character model. To us. Textures were hard man, back then. It was a different time. In the folk tales of Peril, might be referring to the spirit. We should seek out Kikinok, the legendary bird man. Into the dragonfly forest. But be warned, an average cocoon master is no match for the denizens within. Hey, I'm level three. And be sure to ask the old gravekeeper about the legends. He is the storyteller of Cyrus, and should know much about the fables of old. Okay, that's cool. You're a cool old lady, old lady. I'm pretty sure we captured something, so... Doing divine magic is very tiring. Ugh. After performing a purification, I feel so sluggish. You're turning into a slug? Rose. Our enemy we love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make with the purification already. Come on, Mabu. I got a new forest to go to. Yep, bread. Time to make that cricket bread. <laughs> Marriage is so fun. It's a it's a union of equals. You know, she probably slowly kills herself doing this, and I have to fight for my life in the forest. Well, good luck. I'll be here waiting. Let's go to the town shop and sell all that silk we made. It's probably worth nothing. Oh, hey! You're not the person who was there before. Your father is always away. I probably came to do some shopping, it's true. Okay. This is the silk. 
Alright, that's not bad. That's not a bad amount of money. What is this? Attacks against all abnormal state, but will break. Increases max health with the Great Walnut. I wonder if I can use that on Levant. That's a fire attack item. That's minion HP and mana. Okay. What's this? Total restoration. I guess that's revival item. It is expensive. All right, before we wrap up, let's take a look around the village. See what's going on. I'm curious. I like the village setting of this game. Still do not like the tank controls. You haven't seen my foolish son, have you? Oh no, only your smart one. I bet he's out playing pranks with that no good watchtower kid again. Tell him his old man said to stop playing in the forest and to come home and do his chores. Jeez, you jackal, calm down. Let your kid be a kid. I don't know how old his kid is. His kid is probably like 37. Come again when you can handle that weapon there. I, I don't like you, Jacko. He's too gruff. I'm a hero. I went to that forest and then the guy told me he didn't know anything about herbs and then I came home. That makes me a hero, damn it. Who's this guy? Some boring guard dude. Is everyone still dying in this room? Is this still the death room? Yep. Tell me about the dead people. Still they slumber. Mood. Big mood. Okay, for real, it kind of sucks that, like, half the village fell into a coma. I'd be pretty bummed out too. And I wouldn't want to leave my loved one's side in that instance. So, you know, I'm on their side. I'm on the side of loved ones in a coma probably suck. Our shining ray of hope. That's me. Uh, I'm not calling you that. Yeah, old woman, you are useless. You don't even have a name. It's weird that that old woman doesn't have a name when... Generally, the game does a good job of making sure everyone in the village has a name and personality. What will become of the village? I wonder if those people will stay asleep until they die. Then what will become of us? Don't worry now, that's why we have a cocoon master. The chieftain and Jibara have taken care of it. I hope you're right, but didn't the minstrels talk about the tragedy of Gehenna all over again? Say, is your son alright? Don't tell me he's going to run away too. Don't say that, he hasn't run away. That's right, isn't it? Your husband, he'll come back, won't he? Well, I... Hey, don't be rude to my mom. Y'all better leave my mom alone. Faith in me or no. Hey mom, don't let them get to you.
Go get that herb. Oh yeah. There is no herb. Now we have to get dust. Told you, marijuana is a gateway drug. From marijuana to angel dust in three hours of gameplay. Can't help me anywhere. Well, let me tell you, he'd be no match for Kelmer, no matter how strong he says he is. Uh huh. Right, Kelmar? <laughs> you idiot! That's enough already. Even Kelmar is embarrassed, Louis. What? You met Master Chorus because of us. What? what? No, I didn't. What? So you're going into the forest in search of that guy? Yep. You're not gonna kill him, are you? Ah, uh, maybe. You won't be able to get that powder if you do. Well, good luck bringing that stuff back from Kiki Nai. And tell me all about it when you get back. No, I just... I just want to know what he's like. That's suspicious. Are you Kiki Nai? You Kiki Knock son. You are to head into the Dragonfly Forest now, eh? Uh, yep. See you later, kid. By kid, I mean old man. Have you been training at all? That Dragonfly Forest is one mean place. You'll learn something as an apprentice of the Blue Cocoon Master, won't ya? Is this person... dying asleep? I guess so. They're asleep in any case. That would also suck, you know? Seeing someone asleep and being like, I wonder if they're asleep asleep, or if they're cursed to die asleep. Are we going to get a new story from our graveyard keeper friend with the crazy eyebrows? No, come on. Give me some lore. You no, know, I quite like it here. I wonder if you understand. No, I'm not 900 years old forest. like you. I love the forest. That is why I like it here. When I'm here watching the forest, I need nothing else at all. Okay. Oh my, I almost forgot about the frolicking children. Their smiles are important too. Why are there smiling children frolicking in the graveyard? Alright, let's hear the story of the Birdman. Harvey Birdman, attorney at law. Once upon a time in a faraway village, there lived a woodcutter who always boasted of his strength. It is said that the woodcutter wanted to test his own strength by felling the tallest tree in the forest. Is the tallest tree in the forest necessarily the strongest tree in the forest? The forest in search. Meanwhile, the forest told the great tree of the woodcutter. Uh -huh. The great tree sighed deeply, lamenting his foolishness. And he continued to sigh. And before long, the breath of the great tree became a thick and heavy fog which shrouded the forest. Poor woodcutter. The woodcutter soon lost his way. He just wanted to kill that he tree. He was so tired wandering about that he soon took a short rest. Just then, sweet smelling fluffs began to float down. He got super wasted. Oh, sweet scent would fall fast asleep. The woodcutter couldn't help but to fall in a deep slumber. And there he lay, snoring great snores in the middle of the forest. For three days he slept. Oh, I wish. The 
broad day, a bird man flew down to where he lay. He spoke to him, I'm the strongest you always say. One fight with me, if you may. But the woodcutter remained fast asleep. So really, the bird man won by default. Legendary times are full of assholes, either knocking you out or waking you up. The surprised woodcutter shouted, Who on earth are you? I warn you, I am incredibly strong. Everyone ready to fight at the drop of a hat. The birdman replied, You can't defeat me, but if you do, we can be friends and I'll share my powder with you. What a great song. Illness and turns old to new. I got it from the forest people called the Yamu. The woodcutter tried to grab the birdman. But the woodcutter had been asleep for three days. He was too hungry to hold on. Yeah, Birdman's cheating here. With one flap of his mighty wings, the birdman blew the woodcutter all the way back. If the woodcutter had eaten, he would have won. Woodcutter told the villagers it's like when Goku all fought Yamcha in Dragon Ball. But not a soul believed him. From that day on, the woodcutter never again boasted of his Woodcutter kind of emasculated in that story needlessly. Understand? The divine tree of the forest is an incarnation of Elrim. And as we've learned already, Elrim, god of everything, is kind of a jerk. There are many other tales with the birdman. But they're all very filthy, and you can't hear them. Perhaps he was barbecued in a previous life. Okay. Kiki Knock, the Birdman, weak to fire attacks. That's kind of what we've learned from that. Village Square. Got any new stories from these guys? Calabas? Oh, that is the herb of life. They say it can cure any disease. I know not where it may be found. But then again, even weeds will cure you if you believe in them. They say the mind rules the body. So perhaps this calibus is a herb that grows inside people's hearts. Um, the placebo effect is real and heavily documented, but I would still in this situation prefer some real medicine, real medical advice. Alright, let's save at the barrier gate. And we'll call it a stream. We've made progress. One of the four forests down. This is Jade Cocoon. Um, maybe I'll continue with it even. I'm kind of interested to see where things go because I don't fully remember the plot. Of course, it all depends as well on what you think, dear viewers. Ooh, we can change the color of things. Whoa. I'm gonna... What am I gonna... What am I gonna... Del Saber. Oh, I'm gonna finish it! Gosh darn. Well then, join me next time for some more Jade Cocoon action. And yeah. Until next time, then. I do like this game. It, it's neat. It's not like a 10 out of 10 
five star game of the year or anything, but it's a good RPG. It's a good snapshot of what RPGs were doing then, with some interesting art style, music, and so on. So I'm interested to see where this goes, because I only vaguely remember the plot of this. Except there are some twists and turns, ups and downs. It's an RPG, you know? Until next time then everyone, thank you again for coming out. If you're watching this and you're not already followed, you should follow me. You should admire my lovely hair that grew overnight, it was a miracle. It was like the Calibus herb. This hair was in my heart the entire time. Until next time everyone, be good, be kind, take care of yourselves, take care of others. See you later. Bye bye.